Hey guys, Cam here from PhoneDog.com and it is time again for me to look at top five reasons to go with a mobile platform. Now, the last two weeks I have focused on the top two, iOS and Android, and this week I'm going to be turning my attention to BlackBerry. Now, obviously, BlackBerry hasn't had a great time of late, almost pulling out of the hardware business altogether. In fact, Probably 12 months ago, people were saying they might not last another year, but that doesn't mean that their hardware and software and their devices don't have something to offer, because they do. So here are my top five reasons why you should maybe consider going BlackBerry. Number one probably comes as no surprise because BlackBerry's keyboards have been number one for a very long time. Whether it's the hardware keyboard on devices like the old Curves or the new Q20 or Q5 or the new software keyboard in BlackBerry 10 on the Z10 and the Z30. They are fantastic. The hardware keyboards are easy to use. They're tactile. They've got uh, tapered edges on them to make them easier to use. They're well spaced out. It makes for a very pleasant and quick and productive typing experience and the same can be said of the SureType virtual keyboard in the touchscreen devices. Because they give you the suggestions of words by just flicking up on a letter on the keyboard, it makes it very easy and very fast to use. In fact, when I had my BlackBerry Z10 when it was brand new, it was probably my fastest typing experience on any touchscreen device that I've ever had. And when you're someone who likes to communicate, you want to type messages or type emails, it is very important to have a very good keyboard. And let's not forget BlackBerry is a communication-centered device. And that is a feature they pull off arguably better than anyone else on the market. Number two for me is a lot down to personal experience and it's all about reception and call strength. I don't know if it's the same with you, this might just be a me thing, but whenever I have had a BlackBerry I consistently get better reception, better cell signal than I have with any other device. I would take out my BlackBerry with my iPhone and my iPhone might be out of signal entirely, whereas my BlackBerry using exactly the same carrier would have one or two bars. And the same can be said when I have two or three bars on my iPhone, there would always be four or five on the BlackBerry, and that can make a huge difference, particularly when you're in a spot where there is low coverage. It's the difference between being able to make a phone call and not being able to make a phone call, and that is one that you should not overlook. Number three is something that has been long touted as one of BlackBerry's best features, and that is security, and it is a reason why top government agencies and big businesses have traditionally always gone with BlackBerry, even though they're now sort of trending more towards iPhone. BlackBerry's security and the way you can manage multiple devices from one enterprise account is one of the top features of the device. And the fact that each BlackBerry is assigned a PIN means that actually setting things up for one person on one device is very secure and very quick and simple. And it's reliable too, and it works really well. One of my favorite features of BlackBerry is actually one of the core features of BlackBerry 10. What I really loved about it was that it seemed a lot more intuitive than any other operating system that I'd used because everything was just a single swipe away from your screen. So for instance, you could swipe from right to left if you wanted to see all your apps. You could swipe from left to right to see your hub, and you could even peek when you were in an app. You could swipe upwards and across, and you would see just brief highlights of your notifications that you might want to address. And that was something that, again, it makes it easy and quick to use. It's productive and it's efficient. Something that kind of fits in nicely with this is the personal and work spaces. If you have an enterprise account and you have your BlackBerry through your work, then you can just simply drag down from the home screen and you can select to have either a workspace or a personal space. This is kind of a solution to a problem that people used to have a few years ago. I remember when smartphones were just coming out and, or even not even smartphones, people used to have a BlackBerry for work and another device for personal use to keep them separate. And now with BlackBerry 10, if you have one set up with your work enterprise account, you can also have it set up with your own personal details and you can just switch between your personal and workspaces with ease. And there isn't really another device that gives you that flexibility so easily and so intuitively. And that's all part of this whole gesture system, part of BB10, and it is fantastic. And last but not least, and I kind of feel a little bit odd saying this, BlackBerry devices want to be used. They are built that way. They feel good in hand, they're solid. When you pick them up, they feel like they kind of belong in your hand. And because they're so easy to use, and I mentioned about the keyboard, and I mentioned about the intuitive operating system, 
It means that you actually want to use the phone, which makes it a very productive and very pleasing experience, at least for me. Now, obviously, BlackBerry isn't perfect. It has its problems and it shows because people are not buying them as much as they used to. But at least those are five reasons why maybe if you're the kind of person that values those features, then maybe you should consider BlackBerry again. You can sideload Android apps onto BlackBerry 10, so you won't necessarily miss out on any apps if you do. So there you go. Those are my top five reasons to go BlackBerry. I'm at phonedog underscore cam on Twitter and I will see you again soon.